Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and this is an unboxing video where we're going to unbox these NASCARs, and it's kind of weird because I'm on camera for the first time in a long time, but anyway, uh, let's get in the video. <laughs> Alright guys, they're separated in different waves, so here we are with the first one. We got William Byron here, wave three. He's the only one in wave three. I've never done an unboxing before, so this is kind of weird for me, but I'm trying to get some more content on this, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Maybe we can uh, do a stop motion. Whoops. I'll just throw the trash over there, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, look at that. William Byron, these are uh, NASCAR Authentics I got from Walmart. So, yeah, I got William Byron there with Exalta, Exalta paint scheme. So, yeah. And I guess he came with a hood. It says William Byron on it in the back. Not much, just NASCAR Authentic. So, it's kind of a cool little design. So, I guess what, we'll put that right there or something. Now we got two of them. From wave four, got two uh, Stuart Haas drivers. And anyway, I started opening that behind the camera. <laughs> but anyway, this is Clint Boyer. I already started opening him. It's like Christmas for me, all right, guys? Ooh, we got a nice little magnet, first of all. A Cooley Antifreeze magnet. And we got his car right here. Here we are with his car. Peak antifreeze. I like this paint scheme. It looks nice. Black, blue, and gray go together so well. Especially with the white numbers. So yeah, there's the back. Ooh, it says GT just like a real Mustang. That's cool. I didn't even know they did that. And we'll open our Marola. That's easier. <laughs> Whoops, I hit the camera. I also got, I spent a lot of money, like a hundred bucks today on all this crap. So hopefully it helps us grow as a channel. All right, here we go. We got Smithfield, another hood. It's pretty cool. Amarola is my favorite driver, as you could have seen on my hat earlier. At least for this year. He better step it up. Hasn't even won a race this year. It's got his generic Smithfield scheme though. It looks pretty nice. Guess I better hold it this way so you actually read the number right side up. But that's Eric Amarola. Now we got three cars in wave five. And uh, first we have Eric, er, Eric Jones. How do I forget that when he has the same last name as me? Geez. But anyway, we got Eric Jones here. And it looks like another magnet on the back. If we can get this open. There it is, a DeWalt. Eric Jones magnet. Let's put that there. I don't think we're going to have enough room for all this stuff, but... Oh, well. Wow, this is really weird. These unboxing videos, I don't know how you guys do it. This is harder than I thought. Anyway, Eric Jones is DeWalt 20. Looks pretty nice, I guess. You got the resource here. You got American ethanol where you put the gas. What else do we got here? Back of it. This is, there we go. Oh my gosh, my hand is really shaky. <laughs> I had too much sugar today. There we go. It's like Toyota Camry. Looks like they screwed up on the back and then letter A is chipped off. That's not good. In fact, the front looks pretty bad too. <laughs> kind of a crappy version, but oh well. Next we got Austin. Whoops. Next we got Austin Dillon here in the three. It's also from Wave Five. And uh, yeah, I literally got all of them from Walmart that I could, except for there was a there was a different version of Ricky Stenhouse than the one that I got. But I only need one if I'm gonna do. Uh, whoops. Stop motion. And this one came with a card. 50th anniversary for Richard Childers. That's crazy. Is that really? 
Holy cow. Can't believe he's been a team for that long. There's a big, long thing behind it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can really read that very well. Richard Childress Racing celebrates 50th anniversary at Daytona. Founded in 1969 by NASCAR Hall of Fame owner Richard Childress, Richard Childress Racing has accumulated a total of 15 championships and more than 200 victories across NASCAR's top three series and was the first team in NASCAR history to win a championship across all three national series. I did not know that. In the 61st running of the Daytona 500 on February 17th, 2019, reigning race winner Austin Dillon took the track in this special gold paint scheme designed to commemorate Richard Childress Racing's 50th anniversary. And that says 2018, 2019. He won it in 2018 after he wrecked my boy Amarola, but we won't get into that. But here's the car. Pretty nice car. It's just do, uh, do or dow. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But yeah, it's uh, gold looks really nice. You have that little NASCAR Heat logo there. That's cool. You got AAA Auto Insurance and Bass Pro Shops. Here's your hood. Other side, back, Camaro. Whoa, my hand's shaky. Well, hopefully I get better at my hand not being shaky. I don't know. Last out of that group of Wave 5, we got Ryan Newman here. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm getting better at this already. Winden, Winden, Windham Rewards, you've earned this. Ryan Newman, number 6. So that's kind of cool. The back doesn't say anything. It's just like the other hoods. And uh, throw all this trash out of here. And we got his number six car here. Uh, Winham Rewards car. You've earned this. That's cool. I like the blue and white. Blue and white really goes together. That's my school colors, my high school colors. Back in the day a couple years ago. <laughs> This one does not say GT on it, even though it's a Mustang. That's different. There's his hood. Whoa. Windham Rewards. All right. And now everything else is six. So first we got Haley Deegan here, but it's the only one I could find in the store. And my wife really liked it, so we're not going to uh, get rid of this one. This is when she won Meridian Speedway last year and uh the K&N Pro Series which is my hometown track so uh yeah we're not going to open this one but we will keep this one for later if I find a second one we will open this one and maybe do some stop motions with her but I think this one might be worth a little more than all the rest of these so we're going to keep this one out or still in the box so next we got Kyle Busch here and we hear the boos uh put a comment boo if you uh don't like Kyle Busch <laughs> And if you do like Kyle Push, let me know in the comments. Start a war. Just kidding. Ooh, I like that. I don't know. Oh, it is. I thought I had a, rig a regular one. No, this is the interstate battery one. That's sweet. It's a magnet. I really like this one because it's like a different kind of paint scheme, like stripes. So that's really cool. And uh, let's get them out of there. Come on, Kyle Bush. I know you're, you're scared of the people, but let's get you out of here. Come on. All right. Interstate batteries. Oh man, this car looks nice, especially with the red stripes. Well, anyway, there's Kyle Busch's car. Ooh, my hand's shaky. Looks like the spoiler's a little smaller. I guess I didn't notice that, but a couple of them are small and a couple of them are big. That's different. Hmm. Toyota Camry, which I guess this one looks better than the other ones. I thought it was kind of messed up. But anyway, yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to use two hands. <laughs> I can't believe how shaky my hands are. But yeah, uh, Interstate Batteries. That's the good band of batteries. And we got Martin Truex Bass Pro Shops. And yeah, come on. So first we got this. Got some more trash there. Uh, Martin Truex, 
Bass Pro Shops 19. That looks nice. Let's put that. Will that fit here? Yes, it will. Let's, that will work. Let's throw that over there. But uh, yeah, there's his number 19. Kamikaze Games is his favorite guy. Or as a lot of people like to call him, uh, Whiny Truex, because he whined a lot, especially at the beginning of the year. And when Joey Logano wrecked him out last year. Which I would do, so I'm not saying anything bad about that. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Daniel Suarez, or some of you will call Busted. <laughs> he is not doing too well on my Stuart Haas team this year, as well as we thought he would. I thought he would at least get a top 16 to make the playoffs, but... I guess if Jimmy Johnson can't do it, then other people can't do it either. But anyway, uh, Daniel Suarez. Sweet, that looks good. I really like this paint scheme because it's like a digital camouflage, and that's just really cool. And uh, here's his car. Wow, what a, look at that, though. That camo in the back makes his car look so nice. Man, I like these Haas cars. They always look really good, but there's Daniel Suarez. Let's put him right there by his teammate, Armorola. Bubba Wallace, a lot of people's favorite driver. Led some laps last year at Bristol and almost won the Daytona 500. Got second, I believe. Uh, after shocks, be open, Bubba Wallace. I don't know what that is, but yeah. And where are we putting this? Oh, crap. There's a piece of cardboard there. Uh, let's put him... Can we put him there? Yeah, let's put him here. And yeah. There's your Bubba Wallace. Is uh, after shocks or shokes be open. Garmin in the back. I don't know what that means. But anyway, yeah, there we are. Side view, top view, backwards, whatever. Uh, Aftershock, he's a Camaro too, so that's cool. We got three more, guys. Hope I'm not going too slow. I'm trying to show them off. We got Ricky Stenhouse's Sunny D. I like this Sunny D car a lot better than his other ones, so. That's why I got this. They had four or three of his other one, and I was about left that they got. Sunny D, 17, Stenhouse Jr. It's another magnet. It looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Will that fit there? No. There we go. We'll put that up there. We'll throw that trash out there. And here we got Ricky Stenhouse. Sunny D. Man, this car looks nice. It says Fastenal on it. Maybe that's why. They said that's a curse to say Fastenal on your car. Or at least Ricky Stenhouse. There's Sunny D on the back. There's his hood. Yeah. Nice car, though. All right. What else do we got here? Another Stuart Haas teammate. Kevin Harvick. Your Harvick. Dang. Come on. There we go. But anyway, uh, there's a Mobile One. This is like an old school magnet. I used to get these in the very old box, so that's cool. Mobile One 4, and we got a car. Whoa, that looks nice. It looks a lot better than I thought. I like the gray and the black. It goes together very well. Mobile One, it's a Mustang. Yeah. Put him behind... Uh, Kyle Bush. And last but not least, most people's favorite. Save the best for last, right? Chase Elliott. I didn't even mean to do that either. I just randomly did it. But who knows? Chase Elliott barely made the chase today. That was pretty or the round of eight. That was pretty good of him. So yeah. Mountain Dew, Chase Elliott 9. That's cool. I like the digital camo. I really like digital camo. Uh, where are we putting this one? Hmm. Can we make some room here? I think we can fit his car there. And yeah. So it looks like we opened 13 cars. I really like Mountain Dew. It's like my favorite drink too. It's probably why I'm so shaky. It's because I had some earlier for dinner. 
with my dinner, not for dinner, but yeah. But yeah, there's all the cars. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And uh, let me know if you want me to do any more unboxings. And if we do a stop motion race, let me know what track you want. Or if you want me to make up my own track or what. And, uh, well, I can't fit Haley Deegan in here. Come on. I gotta go somewhere. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, here we go. No, that doesn't fit either. Anyway, hit the like button for Haley Deegan because everybody seems to like her. We'll see you guys next time. Meow, 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 meow